Pastry Puffs! Welcome back to Strudel Reviews. It's your girl Strudel, and today we are going to be doing a unexpected review for me. But, like, I honestly kind of really, like, wanted to put in my two cents about this recently discontinued doll line because, like, my god, did I feel like a lot of people were, like, tough on it. Me, I thought this particular doll line was super, like, super adorable and, like, super cute for what it was. But, like, I didn't really think it was going to be something right up my alley. And today, I went out hanging out with, like, a friend of mine because, uh, sometimes this is what, like, this one friend of mine and I do is we go, we'll sometimes, like, go out and, like, we'll just, like, go around town or whatever. And so we kind of were out, essentially, sh like, sh we were, like, out, what I'll say, doll hunting. First, I go to my local Walmart to go look the clearance. They ain't have shit for me. And then I go to my local Ollie's, and I find Cave Club. And particularly, um, you'll see who I found, like, at Ollie's. And I'm in like, and then I also found like more at Roses. So I told found a total of like five characters, but I had like the th I had gotten like three out of the five, and like I might have to go back for the other two in like the next couple of days because holy fucking shit! If I have enough fun with this review, y'all are gonna get more. So like. <laughs> I don't care, y'all are gonna get more, because, like, I am so excited, like, I've been itching to, like, give this, like, a, give it, like, a strudel spin on this review, because I feel like it'd be a lot of fun, and it is Cave Club, <laughs> and for our first, um, for the first one up to be reviewed, I'm going with Slate, because I found Slate at Ollie's for, like, $5.99. And I also found him at Rose's for, like, $6.99, but I wound up getting him at Ollie's because, like, Ollie's had the frustration-free package variation, and, like, all of the characters I've purchased today did come with that, like, that type of packaging. And so, yeah, <laughs> we'll start off with Slate, and we'll start off with his, with the signature strudel way and we'll go off with the eyebrows and you can tell my man's got like some super thick super detailed blue eyebrows and it's just like mm. you know your girl strudel loves some thick eyebrows yes i love it <laughs> it's amazing thick eyebrows are like a sign of like fucking beauty to me and i'm like holy shit that's hot like that's fucking hot i love it I love it for you. <laughs> but, like, I know, like, they're, um, I think they're supposed to be at the most, like, at the least tweens, because, like, if you look at their bodies, like, particularly the girl bodies, they, they do have, like, um, teeny, like, they do have, like, developments of, like, a teenager. So I'm not sure if they're, like, depicted... I'm not sure if they're supposed to be teenagers or if they're depicted as kids, but, like, my assumption is that they're teens because of the way the body molds and everything are makes them look like they have, like, they would be, like, teenagers. You can tell Slate has, like, these super pretty, I want to say blue eyes, maybe a little Slate. I'm blind as shit, so I can't really tell the color. And you can tell, like, Slate has paint on his cheeks. He's got a, he's got, like, blue paint on his left cheek and then yellow paint on his right cheek. And it's super cute. He's literally wearing zero makeup because usually most boy dolls don't get to wear makeup, which is, like, boo, sad. Makes me super duper sad because, like, boys, boys can't wear makeup too. <laughs> And, like, this right here, he's got, like, this really cool-looking, like, necklace that is, 
Looks like it's made out of sticks and cyber teeth and like cyber saber tooth tiger teeth. Yeah, that was the word I was trying to say. <laughs> and you can tell he's got this like neat like this ombre of like this pretty like greeny color and then it ombre to a like bright yellow going into a white and then going to like a more neon green color and you can tell like it is a caveman toga is what I call them because I don't know what the proper word for the male caveman outfits are so I'm calling them a toga and you can tell his is in like leopard I, I want to say it's leopard print I get leopard and cheetah confused so feel free to fucking drag me uh like, literally rake me over the fucking coals for that. And you can see, like, he's got this little design thingy majigger right there, which is super cute. And they gave him shorts. He has, like, pinky purple and black tiger print shorts, which is so cute. And then here, because, like, you know, cave people didn't wear shoes. He has, like, this interesting-looking mammoth fur, which, like, with... What looks like rope around his ankles to make it look like he is wearing some kind of, like, leg warmer. Which <laughs> is a pretty cute idea because you can tell it's got, like, a bit of an 80s theme to, like, the whole line, which is so fucking cute. And I love it. This is fucking everything and it's so adorable and it's iconic as shit. And you can tell, like, um... Slate, I'm not sure exactly what the material of hair they used for him is, but it's very similar to Miss Royale's from LOL OMG, where it's like a yarny textured hair, and his hair is like dark blue and neon green, and you can tell he's kind of got the hunter huntsman thing going on, where like a majority of his head is in fact shaved, but it is plastic for, like it is plastic without any of the flocking on it, which is, like, a little sad, like, boo, sad. <laughs> but you can tell, like, the, um, buzz, the buzz cut parts of his hair is, in fact, like, a lighter blue, and you can tell he's got a bit of a mullet going on in the back, and that's kind of how I took him out of the package, and I don't really care because he's really cute. Like, I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought him. Especially for, like, five bucks. Because, like, that's a steal compared to what, like, he originally retailed for when he came out. And, like, most Mattel dolls, like, you know, Monster High, Ever After High, Wild Hearts Crew, the 2019 version of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, DC Superhero Girls, You Pick Your Generation. <laughs> like, um... Some Mycene dolls, specifically the boys, they have the articulation in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. Meanwhile, um, Slate is the only, like, Mattel boy doll that has, like, that amount of articulation where he does not also have the ankle articulation, which is interesting. And you can tell they have different body mold that they have, like beef like slightly beefier bodies because they are cave people because i mean look at them fucking calves they don't skip leg day when you're a f <laughs> when you're a caveman you don't skip that fucking leg day <laughs> i know i don't skip leg day <laughs> all right and for slate's little accessories he comes with this cute little um i think this is like a um some sort of dinosaur thingy mabobber with, like, some broccoli on its head that looks like a bird. I don't really know exactly what dinosaur this would be, but, um, this little pet's name is Taggy, and it's so cute. So we'll put, like, Taggy right there next to Slate. Comes with, like, a little fanny pack, which I think is so cute. And something like a bit of a modern twist. And you can tell it's got like cave paintings all over it, which is so cute. Like a little handprint. And like some splatters in dark blue and pink. 
which is adorable. I love it. <coughs> Sorry, this little like painter palette that has splotches of light blue, a light green, a yellow, and a couple of splotches of pink on it, which is so cute. And then this little paint brush, which has like green paint on it, and it's all brown and made out of wood, which is adorable. And Slate comes with, like, a neon greeny, like, hair comb, which I appreciate that they gave him a hair comb because he does have, ha like, natural, like, he does have, like, rooted hair, and they usually don't do that for the boy dolls. And he even comes with this cute little extension, which is dark blue and green like his hair. Alright, that was, um, that was Slate. And it, although I found Slate at Ollie's for $5.99, and I found him at Rose's, my local Rose's, for like $6.99. While I was at my local Rose's, I only saw Slate, and I thought that was all they had for Cave Club till I was like over by the checkouts waiting for my friend to check out. And I look over, and I'm just like kind of scanning, and I look up, and I see what I thought was a Fernessa, and I was like, oh! <gasps> What? And I, like, my friend was, like, with mini, standing with mini strudel in the shopping cart. I looked at my friend, and I was like, I'll be right, <laughs> like, I, like, kind of gasped, and I kind of, like, ran over. <laughs> and it's something I normally wouldn't do, but I, like, my, this friend hangs around, like, a lot, so, like, I trust them with mini strudel. So... Like, Minnie Strudel's, like, comfortable with them. Minnie Strudel knows them very well. So, I'm, like, I'm all right with leaving them. I'm, lo I'm all right with leaving Minnie Strudel with this friend. So, I run off to go look at the, um, to go see Fernessa. And I was like, oh, what? And then, like, kind of, like, was grabbing Fernessa. And I saw Emberly behind Fernessa. And I was like, what? And then I, like, brought down Emberly because I was, like, looking behind. Because, you know, Melissa and Caden taught me well here. And so I look behind and I see our next doll, Tella. And I got so excited, like, although originally I didn't know who I was going to pick at first. But and then I thought about it because I remember when I saw Slate, I was like, man, I wish they had Tella because Slate and Tella are twins, which, like, oh my gosh, is so cute. And I was like, it was fate. <laughs> it was fate for me to have Tella because Tella, like, honestly, Tella is, Tella and the next doll you're going to see are, like, my ultimate favorite Cave Club characters because, like, <laughs> for, <laughs> for, like, their person, like, their personalities and their interests, <laughs> Tella's personality is so, like, can sometimes so be me because I can be, like, I can be, like, dopey and like <laughs> I can be dopey and hair airheaded and like sometimes I feel like I could predict the future without even think without even knowing it <laughs> like I love Tella Tella is like my favorite Tella is my favorite character so to find Tella made me so happy <laughs> and like I knew Slate was gonna be like zero issue because boy dolls don't genu 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 generally sell well but Tella was the surprise, and I was so happy to fucking see her. I, like, kind of put Emberly and Fernessa back. And I was like, I'll be back for you two in a couple of days if y'all are still there. But I'm not going to be too upset about it, because, like, Emberly, like, you can still order Emberly, Fernessa, and Rorelei offline. So if push comes to shove, I'll, like, get them that way. But I'm not, like, too worried about it, unless if this does well and I can do more, I might do more regardless because I don't give two fucks. This is my channel and I do whatever the fuck I want here. Alright, enough of that. We'll get into Tella. You can tell, like, Tella has, like, grayish-brownish-colored eyebrows and it's got, like, the same, de the same lining of detail in for Slate. But you can tell she has, like, the f most... Um, she has, like, a grayish, maybe yellowish, can't really tell what the color is, um, 
eyeshadow and it's so pretty and you can tell she's got like these really pretty like grayish purpley eyes and you can tell she's got like little sparkles and she's got like little sparkles like for the irises of her eyes and then she's got like two extra like line detailings. Kind of like how you look at Slate and he's got like all the lines and stuff to detail in his eyes and those two little like whites in his eyes. The bigger ones being the shines, like being his irises and then like the two smaller circles being the shines. And then you see Tella has like these adorable little white stars all over her face to act as like they kind of act as like freckles and they are so, 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 so cute and she has, like, again, very min- like, n like, no lipstick, but has very minimal eyeshadow, which is, like, you know, they're supposed to be younger dolls. I don't know. I just think they're teenagers, and, like, they live in, like, caveman time, so, like, makeup wasn't really a thing. And then for Tella, you can tell she's got, like, this tool, like, ruffles on these little, like, pink ribbon straps and then she's got this um multicolored dress where it starts off as this really pretty like light purple and it goes into a pink and it goes into like this dark blue and it's got like the leopard prints and you can tell like there are like paw prints and all sorts of other designs on her little um the little top part of her dress and then she's got like what I want to say is like faux faux feather, faux fur, I don't know, like, this kind of, like, really soft material at the very tail end of her skirt, which I give them props for this, because Mattel, this is something Mattel didn't re doesn't really do as much as they used to, so for them to do this kind of quality for Cave Club, which is so cool, which shows they had faith in this line, because, again, Cave Club did come from the same people who did make Monster High Ever After High Wild Hearts crew. Because there were a few people who worked on those lines that also worked on Cave Club. And it's a damn shame y'all slept on Cave Club. Because, shit, it is such a cute line. I love it. And then, um... You can tell Tella has, like, this neon green belt. And it has, like... A star here, a star here, and then, like, I want to say that's, like, some crystals, and then, like, whatever the fuck this thingy is right there in the back, and then the big attention grabber is this cute little, like, crescent moon, which is so, so cute, and then we go down, her little leg warmers are, like, this pretty, like, I want to say maybe, like, a periwinkle color, because it's, like, the first thing that comes to mind. And it's got, like, vines and leaves on it. And it looks like it was made out of, like, grass and plants, maybe? Judging by, like, what is molded onto the little leg warmers, which is so cute. And then going to Tella's, <coughs> Tella's hair, you can tell she's got this super pretty, like... I want to say, like, super pretty, like, sky blue color. And it's got, like, hints of white strands in it to give it that definition and that look and that shine and you can tell she's also got like this super pretty like lavendery colored streaks in her hair and you can tell like the shorter part of her hair that stands up to make her look like a cave person she's got like this purple see-through crystal holding her hair up which is so cute like, again, Tella is, like, my favorite Cave Club character because, holy shit, is she everything. And you can tell Tella has the articulation in her neck, her shoulder, her elbow, her wrist, her hip, and her knee. Because, like her twin brother Slate here, she does not come with um, ankle articulation, which is usually standard practice for female dolls. But, like, I would think Tello is, like, one of the best sellers because she's, like, the best doll. She's the best signature doll for Cave Club that they've done. And I will show you her little, like, accessories. Right here is her little pet uh, hunch, which I love that name so much. Her little pet hunch is so fucking cute. Like, this is everything. This is adorable. This is iconic. And I love that she... 
her little pet hunch is like a periwinkle color and they gave the pet like a dark purple mohawk. <laughs> Just so cute. And this is very, like the dark, dark purple is very Rorali color. If y'all know, you know. We'll put the adorable little hunch there. And Tella comes with this big old telescope that looks like it was made out of a crystal. And, hold on, I want to see if you can actually look through it. You can't really see through it all that well, but, like, this is adorable, and I think she calls this her telescope. <laughs> Which is so cute. It's a pun on her name, and I love that. Tella is like, Tella is, Tella is everything. You guys gotta go watch the cartoon. It was so cute. And there were like two seasons. Although season two was like more story written and oriented while season one was more of a slice of life type thing. But still super cute. And she got this periwinkle little comb, same exact one that her twin Slate has, but cuter color. And then Tella has this cute little hair clip that is Cotton candy colors, like a singular dark blue streak, while the majority of the rest of the streak is, in fact, this pastel bubblegum pink color, which gives it that cotton candy effect. <coughs> and finally, we are moving on to the final doll for this video, and hopefully not for my collection, because... Holy shit, these dolls are cute, and I want to have, like, all of, at least all of the basic wave ones, because these are so cute. I can't believe I fucking slept on these. And the third and final doll is probably my personal favorite of the newer releases before the line got scrapped. It is Miss Bashley, her signature wave, like, her signature wave doll. I was not expecting to see Miss Bashley of all people be at my local Ollie's Bargain Outlet. And when I saw her, it was fate. I grabbed her. <laughs> I literally grabbed one of like the four or five boxes they had of Bashley. And I grabbed like one of the boxes of like the hundreds of slates that they had there. But Bashley, I knew it was destiny. Like... Ba I remember like wanting Bashley for so long because Bashley was who I wanted to dip my toes into the brand with. But I ultimately wound up getting my two favorite characters plus Tella's twin Slate because it just didn't feel right to have Slate, like to not have Tella or Slate without each other, you know? So like Miss Bashley here, <laughs> she is my ultimate favorite and you're about to see why. You can see Miss Bashley has, like, the gorgeous, thick brows, and she's got, like, the, her, the lining detailing in lavender, and then she's got, like, I want to say gray make, like, gray eyeline, like, gray eyeshadow. And she's got these pretty, super pretty blue eyes with the line detailing, and she's got, like, the same, like... Iris thing is slight going on, but the, um, the little whites in her eyes are, m are actually more noticeable than slates, and, like, the girl's eyes are bigger than slates. My Bashley has, like, this, t the, um, little green face paint going down her cheeks, which is so cute, and her signature little thing, kind of like the David Bowie it's the literal David Bowie type lightning bolt for me because, oh my god, I love this. I love that they referenced Bowie. Like, holy shit, that's amazing. And she has actual purple lipstick, which was like, n like, Bashley is on a whole nother level. If y'all are going to get a Cave Club doll, like, I highly recommend either Tella or Bashley because they are the most beautiful dolls of the bunch. I also recommend Wave 2 Raquel because, like, that doll's super cute, too. And you can tell, like, Bashley has, like, I want to say it looks very reminiscent of, like, a green, like, maybe flower or crystal or whatever. And it's got, like, either vines or, like, leaves that look like they were 
made into lightning bolts, which is super, super cute. And then Bashley has this, like, little thing of, like, tool or chiffon. Very reminiscent of Tella's, but her dress is a one-shoulder dress, and her dress is this, like, super pretty, like, silver holographic fabric, and it's got, like, these little black, um, I want to say, like, reptile, reptile print all over it, this adorable little baby pink ribbon going around, acting like it is a little belt, or a, like, acting like a little belt, which is so cute in a wonderfully added detail, because holy cow, is it cute, and the pattern goes all the way to the, all the way around the back, like the rest of the characters do, which, like, again, I say, and I will die on this hill, they did put a lot of effort into the Cave Club doll line, and we all slept on it, and she's got, like, that same dark blue tool under, like, I think it's black, actually. The same dark blue, maybe black tool underneath the skirt to give it that poofy look, which I love. And then she's got these adorable, <laughs> like, almost knee-high little leg warmers. And you can tell they've got little cutouts, and the cutouts kind of look like little zigzags, maybe little lightning bolts. Sorry, like, I'm so excited. I'm shaking. <laughs> And there's, like, little spikes that look like little dino spikes going up the sides of her little leg warmers, and that's what they look like in the back. Very reminiscent of what, like, today's gladiator sandal would be. And holy fuck is Bashley everything. I fucking love Bashley. And you can tell Bashley has a majority, like, has this awesome, like, poofy textured hair, which... <coughs> Other than, um, I want to say the only other character that has, like, somewhat textured hair would probably be Ruli, where she had, like, her hair in those, like, super, like, super, super tight curls. Like, Bashley's hair is, like, up into a high little, is up into a super high, like curly ponytail that is more than likely supposed to be sticking up, but it looks, like, so fucking cute. And then she has, like, this little piece, like, this big piece of her hair down by the side of her head, which is a nice touch. And it is this super pretty, like, lavender color. And she's got, like, cotton candy. She's got, like, slightly darker purple like, maybe some cotton candy pink streaks into it, which I love. And if you look right there, she's got this, like, pastel green dino bone with lightning bolts. Like, which looks very reminiscent of lightning bolts sticking out of the hair and some rope around. Some silver rope around the little headpiece, which this is fucking amazing. And she's got, like, the typical, like, neck... Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee articulation. No ankle, which is typical for girl dolls. And for Bashley, she comes with her cute little, like her cute little pet dino snare, which I love the fact that they named her after a snare drum, which is so fucking cute. And she comes with a keytar, like holy, holy hell. A key tar. This is fucking awesome. I love this. This is great. This is everything. Oops, sorry, snare. And her little hairbrush is the same, but hers is in this adorable little pastel pinky color, which is adorable. And she comes with, like, a mostly pastel green with a streak of lavender, like, and a streak of silver for her little hair clip. And we'll move all of the accessories off to the side, which, although they are my favorites. And we'll put the little pets here, because I do want to compare... <coughs> I do want to do a height difference between the Cave Club and the G3 Monster High Dolls. So we'll have, like, Claudine go next to Slate, since she was the first G3 doll I reviewed. We'll put Draculaura next to Tella, because, like... Obviously, like, they are my second favorites of the group. And then, 
Frankie with Bashley because they both have the lightning bolt theme and like I feel like Bashley would really like Frankie's song Spark to Life. If like Frankie wants to stand. Jesus Christ, Frankie, why do you not want to stand? <laughs> 